Welcome back. I'm Christine Kennedy of the Awards and Recognition Committee of the Alberta College. Today, we will honour the 2021 Recognition of Excellence recipients and the ACFP Awards. The Recognition of Excellence Awards recognize members who in the past 12 to 24 months have made an outstanding contribution in one or more of the following areas. Patient care, community service, hospital or health institutions, college activities, teaching, research, and other elements of the academic discipline of family medicine. As part of the adjudication process, successful recipients are also nominated for the Awards of Excellence bestowed by the College of Family Physicians of Canada. Our 2021 recipients are Dr. Aquino Ekanem, Edmonton, Dr. Divya Garg, Calgary, Dr. Ernst Gravenstein, Calgary, and Dr. Michael Spady, Calgary. Hi, I am Dr. Aquino Ekanem, a family physician based in Edmonton. I'm one of the recipients of the recognition of uh, excellence award of the Alberta College of Family Physicians. I want to thank the Alberta College of Family Physicians for the recognition and honor. Um, it's really heartwarming to uh, receive this award from my peers. I want to also thank the, uh, the uh, colleagues that nominated me for this award. I'm really looking forward to this ceremony and uh, reception of uh, this award. Um, it's going to inspire me to do even more for the uh, discipline of family medicine, to continue to engage in lifelong learning and upliftment of the discipline of family medicine. I've been very, very um, engaged and interested in family medicine from the world group as a vocation because um, of the challenges uh, that uh, this profession um, offers uh, uh, its um, practitioners. Uh, family medicine is very global, family medicine uh, the model of family medicine is engaged in um, the cradle to grave um, concept of um, care. Uh, patients are taken care of from, right from um, conception to when um, uh, to their dying days. So uh, the patient's um, uh, emphasis is on uh, health promotion and also the fact that uh, this discipline uh, all, on a daily basis advocates for its patients and this discipline plays a major role in gatekeeping across the globe and keeps the cost of um, the cost of healthcare down and uh, helps with the efficiency of the systems. So I just want to thank uh, uh, the people that have inspired me to get into this profession. Uh, there are so many uh, of these um, colleagues that have inspired me to get into this profession. I don't want to mention names, but uh, they know themselves and I'm, I'm really, really happy to uh, be receiving this award. Um, I want to thank them. I want to tell them that they share in this honor. Hi, I'm Vivian Garg. I'm the medical lead at the South Hill Campus Family Medicine Teaching Clinic, affiliated with the University of Calgary. I would like to thank the Alberta College of Family Physicians for the Recognition of Excellence Award. Family medicine is truly a team sport. This award is a testament to the wonderful team of healthcare providers that I'm fortunate to work with a team that has shown collective resilience during these challenging times and continue to provide care that is compassionate, inclusive, and comprehensive, while incorporating innovative ways to enhance quality and delivery of care, and at the same time, continuing to train and mentor a future generation of multidisciplinary healthcare providers. Thank you to everyone who has supported me along the way, and congratulations to all the award recipients. Hi everyone, I'm joining you here from Calgary on a Saturday morning in my typical Zoom attire, grey shirt on top and my running shorts um, at the bottom. I want to thank the ACFP board for um, making this event possible. I want to thank the planning committee as well as the selection committee uh, looking at the awards. I really appreciate uh, the recognition that has been provided um, in, in this award. And upon reflection of this, I, I have to say I'm 
I'm grateful, I'm hum humbled and I'm inspired. I'm grateful for my faith, my family, my friends who continue to keep me grounded and continue to push me to be a better person. I'm grateful for the leadership that I work with in the Calgary Zone, Dr. Mike Spady and operational leads. Um, some of the people that I work with at provincial tables as well, um, many of you from the ACFP involved in some of those tables, the AMA, the AMA ACT team, the Physician Leads Executive. They inspire me to become a better leader and, and encourage me to, to push through some of the adversities that we are facing. I want to thank my colleagues working in, in my office who inspire me to become a better doctor. And it brings me to why I'm so humbled. I'm so humbled by all the support that primary care has provided uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic. All of you diligently working through adversity in your offices, caring for patients, doing small things with great love. I want to encourage you to continue to do that. Find the fulfillment in your work, in your families and in your friends. Continue to push through adversity and build resilience as you have. I wish you have a wonderful summit. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Mike Spady and I'm privileged to live and work in the Calgary Zone. I'm humbled and honored to receive this award. And really, I received this award on behalf of many hardworking primary care leaders and family physicians in Calgary Zone and across Alberta who continue to be dedicated to the promotion of primary care and to advancing those tenets of primary care that we know are so important. I chose family medicine many years ago for its versatility, for my love of generalism, and for what I knew would be the opportunity to truly influence the lives of our patients and of Albertans across the province. I'm thankful to have been able to work with many people over the years and especially thankful to my mentors who always instilled and, and continue to instill the values of primary care uh, throughout my career, uh, both administratively and in clinical medicine. Thank you to all of those people who continue to work so hard at such a difficult time uh, to advance primary care and I'm very excited to see where things have gone and where they will continue to go uh, with that involvement and dedication that we've all shown. Thank you again for honoring me with this award and I look forward to continuing to work within primary care uh, for the rest of my career. Thank you. Congratulations to you all. The ACFP is proud of each of you and the contributions you have made in the pursuit of excellence in family medicine. The recipient of our next award, the Outstanding New Professional Award, is a family physician in their first five years of practice who has not only successfully established their career, but has demonstrated balance through commitment to family, patients, colleagues, and the community. Congratulations to Dr. Chris Bevington of Calgary. Hi there, I'm Chris Bevington. I'm a family physician working in Calgary, and I am uh, very appreciative to be nominated and selected for the ACFP Outstanding New Professional Award for 2022. I'd really like to thank the ACFP Awards Committee, the executive, and everyone who was a part of selection. I know it cannot have been easy to have gone through this process. I really want to remind everyone how great family medicine is, the diversity of practice, and the impact that you make on your uh, patients and your communities is definitely appreciated. And I hope you guys all enjoy uh, the, the summit and uh, take care. I hope to see you in person soon. Here to present the next set of awards is my fellow committee member, Dr. Hackett. Thank you, Dr. Kennedy. Our next award, the ACFP Champion Award, acknowledges the dedication and passion of an ACFP member who has committed to engage with members and promote the college, its services, and programs. 
This year, the ACFP would like to honor a group of individuals who are creating capacity by building a safe and inclusive community of practice. Our 2021 ACFP Champion Award recipients advocate not only for their patients and their complex issues, but for the improvement and integration of the primary care system. Congratulations to the Collaborative Mentorship Network for Chronic Pain and Addiction Mentors. Thank you all for your hours of mentorship and for being ACFP ambassadors in everything you do. Your efforts are invaluable. Moving on to our final award for this segment, the ACFP Long-Term Service Award. This award recognizes the long-standing commitment, 10 years or more, of a member who has been actively involved in the work of the college, either as a committee volunteer or by participating in our initiatives. The college would like to bestow this honor on Dr. Tina Koronik. For the past 10 years, Dr. Koronik has been an instrumental leader in the realm of evidence-based CPD programming. For the past 15 years, she has worked as a family physician in Edmonton and is currently a professor in the Department of Family Medicine at the University of Alberta. As Director of Peer, Dr. Koronik has not only grown the team of primary care providers, but has contributed to over 80 tools, articles, and numerous clinical pathways. In an already very full schedule, Dr. Koronik continues to find time to volunteer with the ACFP and sits on many of its committees and task forces. She's a champion of empowering primary care through evidence and a mentor to many. Dr. Koronik, thank you for continuing to inspire us. We are beyond grateful that you continue to share this with us, your patients, and your students. This concludes today's awards presentations. Details about the ACFP Awards, this year's honorees, and how you can nominate a colleague for next year 2022 can be found under the Engage tab of the Virtual Attendee Hub or on the ACFP's website. Tune in tomorrow for the grand finale of our 2021 ACFP Awards featuring our Family Physicians of the Year recipients and our 2021 Patients Medical Home Outstanding Family Practice.